This is what my hair is doing today, folks, and there's nothing that any of you can do about it. Are you a barber? I need a barber. I need a haircut. I'm just, I don't know. Why not? So what are we doing today? Coming up, I've got a uh, very special video. I'm waiting on one last item. Now, you all, if you know me, you know that I'm Barbasol boy, right? And if you also know me, <laughs> I don't know, I got this. This is the Barbasol safety razor. I got it in. See, it's got a little bit of, you can see the brass through, so it's not perfect. But what do you expect? This thing is from 19, the 1930s. Otherwise, it's pretty dang good shape. It says Barbasol right there on this little band. It says Barbasol. So I'm going to show you more about this razor coming up. Now, I've got this. I've got the vintage Barbasol brushless shaving cream, which I'm going to use with this. But you can't shave with just this. And There's no blade in here. There's no blade. i got to have a vintage Barbasol blade. And i got some coming. So in the meantime, I want to show you what Barbasol offers today in a modern razor. This is what, look, it says, see, it says Barbasol right there. Let's look at them together. 1930s, today, look at the size difference. See that? So, I'm gonna shave today. I forgot I had this. I just found this in the drawer when I was getting out uh, some other shaving stuff. So I'm gonna shave with this modern cartridge razor. I know, I know, crazy, right? I like to shake things up every now and then. So, of course I've got this. And you know I've got this. I've got several cans of this. But then I also have sh aftershave. I got, look, look, look at this. Look at all this. I got, I got all this stuff. I, got, I have all the stuff. I have, that's not all. I took a shower and did my hair. Well, I didn't really do my hair. I just, I don't know what I'm doing with my hair. But I use this body wash. I've got the body wash too. If you can tell, see the reflection? I was sent by one of my fine viewers who's sending me a uh, straight razor, a ring light. I've got a ring light right here I'm trying out. So if the lighting looks different, now it's still bright. I still got sunlight up there, but I got a ring light to fill in the, the bumps and crevices on this old craggy face. So let's shave today with some modern Barbasol products in preparation for the upcoming uh, vintage Barbasol shave. And then I'll try to, I'll, I'll pit this one against this one. What do you think about them apples? I've heard a lot of good things about these. They call it a floating head Barbasol, <clears throat> Barbasol razor. Excuse me. I'm getting all choked up thinking about it. All right. Let's put some hot water on my face. Oh, I didn't shave yesterday. So I got something to shave. So funny how many people are like, I thought you don't have anything on your face to shave. It's like, what are you talking about? That's all I got. Every day I got something to shave. Every dang day. So, no brush this time. As far as I know, Barbasol never made brushes. Now, I do have another Barbasol. It's not really an aftershave, but it's a body lotion. I forgot to get it out. I won't be using that today. I will be using the Barbasol Brisk aftershave. All right, let's find this old, found this in, like I said, found this in the drawer underneath the vintage brushless Barbasol. Now here's the difference. It's got a pivoting head. And I feel like you gotta wash it out more often. Because there's like it's like six blades in there. Six blades and a lubricating strip and a is there a trimmer blade on the back? I can't even tell. Anyway, the difference between safety razors and these cartridge razors are you can press hard and go fast. You can go fast with a safety razor. But you can go fast with a cartridge razor. Oh, I don't like the feel of it. It's too wide. There's too many blades touching my face right now. That's what I don't like about cartridge razors. Once I got the feel of a single bladed, double edged safety razor, it's just more comfortable for my face. But shave with what you want to shave with. Who am I to say? So yes, I've got this, uh, sometimes on eBay I'll like do like searches for vintage Barbasol. And you sometimes see the, uh, the glass, the empty glass containers that used to have the brushless shaving cream. And you see kind of some slightly vintage cans of Barbasol, like maybe from the eighties or the nineties. And recently, as some people hipped me to, there was a toy if you're familiar with the first Jurassic Park movie, 
uh, that guy Wayne Knight, who was who was Newman on Seinfeld. He hid. Uh, he was stealing some dinosaur DNA in an old Barbasol beard buster can, and they just came out with a toy that they also sold out of that looks just like the Barbasol beard buster can with uh, his little action figure inside. And he's got a little teeny tiny Barbasol can and I want it. But they sold out, so. I don't want the toy, really. I just want the uh, the fake can and the little teeny tiny can. All right. Well, I tell you what. For all my trash talk of cartridge razors, these things do work. These things do work. I mean, it's not like they don't work. There's lots of things that work. You could take a car somewhere, you could walk, you could ride a bike, you could take public transportation, but you're gonna have a preference of which one you do, right? Yeah, right. And I prefer safety razors. As he shakes up his little, I'm, I'm getting tired of this skinny can, I'm getting ready to get back to the 10 ounce. This is the six ounce, and I'm almost done. Get back to the traditional size can of barbecue. I tell you what, that's a pretty, that's a pretty good shave right there. I mean, one pass and you could be done easily. There is something to be said about cartridge razors and shaving foam in cans and body wash and everything else. But, like I said, shave how you want to shave. Speaking of that, coming up, I've got, I'm going to do a comparison shave between a modern razor and a I'll choose like a vintage safety razor I think and the modern razor is one that everyone has been asking me to do I mean I always get it in the comments try this try this can you try this out so I'm I've been like oh, I don't wanna but I'm finally gonna do it I won't tell you what it is you'll just have to see it coming up I ordered it and it'll be delivered on Monday I think So it's 4th of July weekend, unfortunately everything's closed, or fortunately, everything's closed to keep people safe, because you know how people are, sometimes they need a little help in doing the right thing. <laughs> Staying away from each other when they should. So my neighborhood has had a 4th of July celebration parade for I think it's 57 years straight. And it's just, we, we live in this little tiny neighborhood, an old neighbor, not really that old, you know, all the houses were built in the 40s. And uh, we can't break that tradition. We can't break the parade tradition just because of the sickness. Just because of the sickness. No, we're going to have a little car parade. We're not going to all hang out together. And we usually have this big party and this big barbecue. And I play with my band and all this stuff and other bands play. This year, we're just going to have the parade so we can keep the street going. All right. Pass number two. I don't even need a third pass. I feel like there's something there. All right, maybe a third pass is in order. What do you think? Sure. Why not? We're all here. We're here. We're ready to go. I'll just put a teeny bit. Teeny, teeny bit. So anyway, I hope uh, whatever you're doing, if you're celebrating Independence Day here in the States, hope you get out there and barbecue, drink some beer, or whatever you like to drink, iced tea. Get some watermelon. Hang out in your backyard. And uh, as someone on The Simpsons said a while back, celebrate the birth of your country by blowing up a small portion of it with fireworks. Gotta go buy some fireworks. Usually we just buy the smoke bombs. The little smoke bombs you light and then they just make colored smoke because those are still legal in the city limits. But man, there are some people in our neighborhood and neighboring neighborhoods that have those industrial grade, like the ones that shoot up and explode. It's like, dang, I don't like those being in the hands of uh, drunken Americans at uh, 1030 at night. Because I'm afraid somebody's going to get their dang whatever blown off or shoot that dang thing into somebody's house. Just be careful out there, everybody, if you're going to show up one of those giant shell um, fireworks. I did see a video recently of an unfortunate soul in Thailand, a British expat, 
I was trying to use one of those out in the street. And it wasn't going off for some reason, so we decided to take a look down into... Yeah, he, uh... God rest his soul. Just be careful. See if I can get under my nose. It's a little harder with this big head, see? It's, got kind, of, it's kind of wide because it's got so many blades. One, two, three, yeah, six, six blades. That's too many. That's too many. One meets six. Barbasol, start making these again. This is a great razor. We'll talk about it more later. I'm still learning about it. Still learning. All right. Cold water. Not bad. Not bad, really. That was a nice little lucky find. Something to do. Something to try out. I know I tried it out a long time ago. Ooh. Wow. I tell you what. That's good. I mean, I could use some more work around the edges. But then couldn't we all? Couldn't we all? Hmm. Dry off. Towel's back. Magic towel's back. Not the white one anymore. Got it back into the correct rotation. Whew. It's like getting out of step when you're going upstairs. Like, no, my lead foot. I don't know what I'm talking about. All right. The final Barbasol aftershave. Brisk. Ooh, it's, got a little, it's got the little thing so not too much comes out. Oh, this smells like uh, your grandpa's favorite barber shop. It smells like you could walk in and, and see the combs sitting in that blue barbicide liquid. Not related, I'm sure. Barbasol and barbicide, but very close. All right. Well, any nicks? No? No nicks? I'll tell you what. That was pretty fun. That was interesting. Ooh, that feels good. Just a little bit of, a little bit of menthol. That's all you need. Just a little bit. It is brisk. Good job. It's almost, it looks like Osage rub. See that green? But it's not. Let's look at them together. Let's see if the greens are similar. Are they similar? Yeah, they're very similar. There we go. Ooh. This is a little more yellow looking. I don't know. Smell totally different. Totally different smells. <sighs> Well, there you go. A modern Barbasol shave. Thanks for joining me. I hope you all have a great 4th of July weekend. To everybody else in the world, have a great normal weekend. And uh, I will see you all on Monday with probably that comparison shave, unless the item doesn't show up until it's too late. And then I'll do it uh, later next week. And then when the uh, Barbasol vintage razor blades come in, I'll stick one in this beauty. I might shave with this one before just to try it out. So, But uh, then we'll have the vintage Barbasol shave, and we'll, we'll see what it's like. This is great. This is a... Mm, I like it. All right. Up jibber-jabbering. Have a great weekend. See y'all later. Bye.